got all my parts in guys new o-ring new remains release release fork all in all loop i've got the clutch master's assembly clutch in oh my gosh this thing feels like a freaking race car what's up everyone welcome back to the channel man well today the type s is uh it's down right now it's uh leaking oil it's the rear main seal is bad guys so it's whenever i just even just start it it starts to leak oil the leak is pretty bad so i will attempt to do the rear main seal and uh, since i'm doing the rear main seal and removing the transmission i might as well upgrade the clutch i'm gonna try to attempt to replace that myself in the garage guys so this is going to be fun and it's going to be challenging, but I love the challenges. Let's start the process. Wow. Look at that. That's, that's nasty. Wow, I really need to get a new boot. This thing is not in good shape. I'm almost done with up top and I've disconnected also the shift linkage, uh, engine mounts over there in the front, starter, and a whole bunch of other stuff here. We're gonna try to take the ball drain off of the knuckle, guys, so we can take off the axles. <laughs> yes, got it out. That's it. It out. All right, it's out. All right, got the release fork out. I have drained the oil. I've removed the axles, loosened the front and rear engine mount, side of my engine mount still attached. All the connections to the trans have been gone. All the perimeter bolts holding the trans to the engine is all gone. So this trans is ready to pop out. <clears throat> Alright guys, this is finally separated. Uh, I just got to open it up some more. Let me jack the engine up some more. Hopefully that'll give me more room to separate the the engine and the trans <laughs> side mounts completely done for <laughs> here it is boys we can now remove the clutch and flywheel just have to turn the engine and get each bolt out 10 millimeter 12 point yep Let's look at that clutch, man. Well, here's the clutch, guys. So this is my luck. Look like it's been replaced. Still looks good. It's a lot of space on those rivets. All right, let's see what else inside looks. Uh. There's the pressure plate. Look like it's all made by luck. Well, let's check the uh, throw out bearing real quick. I feel like that thing was noisy. 
If this, I bet the, the uh, put the luck throw out bearing on here and it feels a little loose to me. Yeah, that's, feels a little loose to me. I don't like that. Okay, now we just gotta remove the flywheel. Man, it looks like it's leaking pretty bad. I mean, it's just everywhere. It's so nasty. Well, we'll clean all this up. All right, everyone, as you can see, everything is out. Bad. I think it took me a total of like four hours to get it out or something like that. But this pilot bearing seems suspect to me. Uh, I believe it's noisy. I think that pilot bearing's no good. So all I got left is to replace the rear main seal, which is the one I've been wanting to replace. As you can see guys, it's pretty nasty in here. Pretty bad. So we're gonna take care of this oil leak. This really bad oil leak. Days later. Got all my parts in guys. Innovative front, rear, side engine mounts. The front one's already installed, ready to go. This is a side. I got all 75A mounts. 75A uh, is the stiffness rating. Uh, you can go up higher. They got 85 and 95. I bet they're super stiff. And what's cool is these are lifetime warranty. As you can see, I got Clutch Masters lightweight flywheel. So that's what I got. I believe it's like 15 pounds for the flywheel. And then for the clutch and pressure plate, I got the FX250. But that's what I got, guys. I'm gonna be using AC Delco Synchro Mesh transmission fluid and what's very important is you want us to buy the one that says friction modified that's what you really want so um, that's what i'm using and that's what we got cool thing with the clutch master it comes with a new pilot bearing and it's made in japan it looks like it's oem so that feels so much better than what i originally took off the vehicle because the one i took off the vehicle like I spun it with my finger and it just, it sounds like roller, roller skates. And uh, this one is a lot stiffer and you can't even spin it barely. The throw out bearing, it comes with a new one and made in Japan also. And it looks like it's OEM, but it has this extra ring on there. So this is what I'm gonna use. I did ended up buying the OEM throw out bearing and I don't need it. So Clutch Masters came with everything that I needed and it also came with the alignment tool. I'm gonna to be using this, it's still good. And I also got a boot for the shift fork, brought brand new from Acura. I don't think I'm gonna record each and every single step on how to install this thing. I'm just gonna install it and do like a review on what it's like, what it feels like. Let me tell you, this thing is so much lighter than the stock flywheel. The dual mass flywheel is so much lighter. And uh, I went with Clutch Masters because why not? I was gonna go with Osco. Marcus from Hill, Hill to Automotive was like, since you're getting Clutch Master uh, clutch and pressure plate, you might as well go with the Clutch Master lightweight flywheel. So time to reseal. The engine block end cover, new O-ring, new remains. Got me some Honda Bond. All right, pierce it through. See, I got to hit this here, this tool, this thing is awesome.
All right. Let's see the front mount's already installed. As you can see, no more oil leaks. I've cleaned it up. And I'll be using my Matco 3 8 torque wrench to torque down the flywheel bolts, uh, 76 foot pounds. Pressure plate came with these Allen bolts. I'm gonna be using what came with the kit, the entire kit. Before, before we torque down the pressure plate bolts, we have to put the alignment tool in. All right, I've got the clutch master's uh, assembly clutch in. I got it all torqued down to specs. These um, pressure plate bolts, I, all six of them, I torqued it down to torqued it down to 19 foot pounds. And for the lightweight flywheel to the crankshaft, I've torqued it down to 76 foot pounds. We're almost there. Some of you may say get the six putt clutch. Um, I actually just listened to what uh, uh, S&P Tony said. Um, so I, I got what he recommended. I'm gonna check this out and see how it feels. Cause the six putt clutch is just a lighter clutch, guys. No, they even have a three putt clutch. So it's just basically less, less weight. And uh, we'll see what happens. I got the release bearing, the least release fork all in, all lubed up in the proper places. And I got my new boot. And you know, we're using urea, high temp urea grease. Okay, got the rear engine mount, solid rear engine mount. Fr solid front engine mount. And now he's gonna connect the transmission to the engine. And then and I'll connect all the engine mounts. And then the side mount, and then the trans mount. Now we can start putting everything back together. Finally, I've I done lost count what day it is, but it's time to put some transmission fluid in it, put the battery back in, and we're back in business, guys. I'm so excited for this. Wonder what color the fluid is. Okay. Pretty excited. It's Friday. And I finally get to start this car, man. Very excited. Haven't heard that beeping noise in a very long time. All right, let's start it up, see what we got. Hope it starts. Yeah. Here we go. Fuck. The battery's dead, son of a- Well, I gotta grab the battery out of my fourth gen TL and put it on my third gen. Okay, let's try that again. So we got new clutch, new flywheel, ball joint boot. We got new solid mounts everywhere. Uh, sway bar link, rear main seal. Whenever, the last time I started this car, it leaked all everywhere because of the rear main seal. And oh, that feels so rough. Okay, no check engine lights. Let's see if there's any leak under the car. Dude, it's like the whole car is vibrating, man. I felt the vibration in my seat. Okay, wheels are spinning. Oh, there's no more leak. That's very good. I like that a lot. <clears throat> All right, man, I'm gonna take this car out, take it for a little drive tonight. I gotta charge this battery. See how she feels, man. <sighs> the car feels very rough. Kind of hard to go into gear. I 
Oh wow, the clutch feels different. Oh my gosh. This thing feels like a freaking race car. So first impression with the, what's this called? Clutch Master Clutch and Flywheel, the F, uh, 250 FX, FX 250. The clutch feels pretty light, man. It's not heavy at all. Car shifting into gear pretty fine. Uh, the clutch engagement's uh, it's very early, like it's very close to the floor. I might have to adjust the clutch pedal. I have to drive this thing for 500 miles and I can't do, I literally cannot do any um, pulls with this thing. I just have to drive it normally. But so far, so good. It feels pretty good. The car ride's great, man. Like no check engine light. Uh, the car is not even like drifting anymore to the left or to the right. The sway bar link was completely loose on this side. They had it had a missing nut on it. Engine mount it feels pretty rough, man. It feels like a broken engine mount, but uh, it took away the vibration that I had whenever I, I would accelerate because all my engine mounts were broken. So far, man. I'm just gonna not drive it normally until I break the clutch and then I'll do some pulls for you guys. But uh, this has been a great success fixing this car. Uh, it's finally running again. And I think I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Thank you guys for watching, man. Next video, I'll do some, some more pulls and, and, and get a uh, feel for uh, the clutch and how she really feels with the engine mount. So see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching man Thank you guys for watching the video Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel man. That'll help the channel grow and it help the channel out guys. See you guys next time. Peace